Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. This is an aptitude test to get into electrical um, union. This was uh, sent in by one of my subscribers who asked me to run through this test. I did the first half of the test in last week's video and today I'm doing the second half of the test. I'll put a link, maybe right here, um, to the first half of the test. What I would recommend you do is have paper and pencil out in front of you, do the problems before I do them and then see how I do them. There are a lot of tips and tricks to get good at these standardized math exams, and this is very similar to the IVU International Brotherhood Electrical Workers math exam as well. Okay, here we are, number 23. If one foot of chain is 17 cents and four yards would be cost how much? Well, first you need to know that there are three foot to the yard, so you have to do three times four to give you 12 feet, and then you're going to take that 12 and multiply it by the 17 cents. Before I do that, I'm just going to do like 20 cents times 12 to get about 240. It's hard to tell, but it's going to be one of these two, so I'm going to have to multiply it out. 7 times 2, 14, carry the 1, 8, placeholder right here. 1 times 2 is a 2, and 1 times 1, that's going to give me 4. 8 and 2 is 10 carry the one, the two, and then my decimal place is over two places, so I'm at 204, so the correct answer is answer C right here. Number 24, tires regularly price $44, and they are on sale for $37. How much would a truck owner save by buying four tires? Well, it's $7 per tire, 44 minus 37 is $7 per tire, He's asking you how much you're going to save, automatic distractor right there, but you have four tires, so you do $7 of savings times the four to get the correct answer of 28. Could have done it other ways, but that seems to be one of the quickest because you're looking for how much needs to be saved. Number 25, how many 32 passenger buses are needed to transport 180 people? So we have 180 people. And before I even do this problem, I kind of see the trick in it in the fact that 32 is not going to go into 180, so I'm going to have to round up. So 32 goes into 180 um, five times. That's going to give me 160 with 20 left over. That doesn't really matter. I'm going to need more than five buses, and I'm just going to get one bus more to get six total buses. Okay, number 26, if a service station greased 270 vehicles in a 31-day period, the daily average of vehicles, so we're going to just approximate this one. We're just going to round this to 30. 30 goes into 270. 3 goes into 27 nine times. Number 27, this is a hard one. Shipment of 500 articles, a sample of 50, is carefully inspected. Of the sample, four articles. So it's four of the 50 were defective. On this basis, what is the probable percentage of defective articles? So we have four out of 50. This 500 is actually just a distractor. So we want a percentage. So how do we get 50 to 100? We multiply by two. All right, that's going to give us 100. So we have 8 out of 100, or 8%. So there's a correct answer right there, 8%. The total area of a four-room apartment is 3,600 square feet. The average area of each room, again, that 3,600 is only a distractor. We don't even need it. The average area of each room is a quarter of the total area. That's it right there, answer 28A. Number 29, a floor that is 9 feet by 12 feet, so it's 9 feet by 12 feet. How many square feet? So I have feet times feet, that's going to give me square feet. And then 9 times 12 is 108, so it's 108 square feet. Answer C for 29. Number 30, the area of a room measuring 12 feet by 15 feet, very similar to this top one, but I look down at these answers and they're very different. It's all in square yards. So I could do 12 by 15 and divide that by 9, because there's actually 9 square feet in a square yard. Or an easier way to do it is just do 12 
divided by three to get four yards, 15 divided by three to get five yards, and then four yards times five yards is gonna give me 20 yards right here. Number 31, the circumference of a circle that has a radius of 70 feet is most nearly. So we have a circle. We need to know the distance around the outside. That's circumference. Circumference is equal to diameter times pi, or 2 pi r, either way. So the diameter is 140 because the radius is 70. So radius from the center to the outside, 70. Diameter all the way across, twice that, or 140, times pi. You might know pi is 3.14 but it is also known as 22 sevenths as a fraction. And it'll be easier to use 22 sevenths here because 140 is divisible by seven. So seven goes into 140 20 times. 20 times 22 is 440. There's my correct answer right there. There's quite a few steps on that one. Number 32, find the perimeter of the following square. So a square has all equal sides. If that's one, 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 and one, Perimeter is the distance around the outside. Correct answer is four inches. A problem as well, like the previous ones, a lot about vocabulary. Do you know what perimeter is? Versus area, do you know circumference? Equation for circumference, radius, diameter. A lot of vocab in these math problems. Number 33, getting to a close here. Swimming pool has an average depth of four feet. So it's four feet deep. And it's 25 feet long by 15 feet wide. So you can do this a lot of different ways. You know, it's length times width times depth, but multiplication is commutative, so you could or multiply them in any order. So 25 times four will be the easiest. 25 times four is 100. 100 times 15 is two more zeros on there, so 1,500 cubic feet. So you could have done 25 times 15 and done some log multiplication, but if you look at the problem, you can kind of see that trick. Number 34, find the volume of the following cube. So I gotta find the area of the base down here, four times four is 16. Then filling that cube up will be volume. So it's gonna be that 16 times that four. Doubling it once, 32, doubling it again to get 64 cubic yards. Okay, the last one right here, number 35. Uh, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and, and post them in the comments. I'll try and answer your questions as quick as I can. Uh, if you're interested, I got a Colfax Math sweatshirt on, support the channel, cool logo on the back, uh, you could see online. Okay, number 35, find the perimeter, that's the distance around the outside. I don't have all the pieces, but I have some of them. I could see that this is five and this is eight, so that's gonna give me this right here. So five plus eight is gonna be 13, and then this is two, and this is six, Two from six is four, so that's four. And then to add these up, I don't want to miss any of them. Um, I might want to add ones that add together, so I'm going to circle them. Six and four is 10. Eight and two is 10, so now I have 20. And then 13 and five is 18. So I have the 20 and the 18 to get 38. And it's going to be a linear measurement of inches because I'm doing the perimeter around the outside. All right, well, thank you for watching. Again, any questions, post them in the comments. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. It's Colfax Math, math with a purpose.